Okay. So, we, we, I'm just waiting for, for it to stop buffering. Okay. Okay, there we go. We are now super live now. Okay. Uh, I need to bring you into focus. No problem. Um, okay. There we are. Anyway, so Brian, um, you are at, oh, there we go, righty. Um, good evening, everybody. Uh, I am with Mr. Brian Pachele from TIA, and we are going to discuss the state of development, uh, technological development in South Africa. So Brian can say hi to everybody as we wait for more people to join us on our live stream. Good evening, uh, Karabo. Good evening to your viewers. All righty. Um, so, Brian, um, I want to understand something. Uh, we have TIA. What is TIA? Right. TIA is um, an entity of, um, of government uh, created uh, by an act which uh, empowers it to uh, stimulate economic development using intellectual property as a tool. What that means is that uh, we are expected by virtue of our, of our mandate to, to support uh, newly created, uh, newly developed uh, intellectual property, um, which grows uh, potential to be translated uh, in terms of uh, tradable goods and services, in some instances, uh, in terms of the, the, the improving the livelihoods of our people, even though the, 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 the motive may not be commercial, necessarily. Okay. So what you're saying is that Tia, if I have intellectual property, if I want to start uh, canning Mopani, right? And would Tia help me or is it just specifically on technology? Yeah, let me, let me clarify. So the reason for our existence, uh, you know, part of strategy, uh, as, as they teach in strategy classrooms, we, part of, part of uh, understanding strategy is making choices. Mm -hmm. Now, now TIA isn't going to fund everything innovation. Let's be clear about that. Okay. TIA, TIA is created spe to specifically um, support uh, innovation of a technological uh, kind. So, mm -hmm. so if you have a, a technology which you have developed, um, uh, which is novel, which means it's new to the world, um, and it could be protected, whether you should protect it or not, it's your, it's your business, and um, that technology could be transferred to society, in a way that it creates economic value, uh, you are a candidate to be funded by TIA. Okay. Because of, because of that, the nature of the people that we fund, as a matter of, uh, of choice, we fund um, a lot of uh, South African high education institutions. We fund a lot of the South African uh, national labs. We do so because this is the, 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 the or rather, these are the places that uh, by design are created to, to develop uh, and uh, create new knowledge in the form of technologies. We don't we not do that to the inclusion of the private sector. Uh, I must make that part clear. Uh, we, we, we have what we call a, a health split between uh, uh, the, the allocations towards uh, the high education research market okay. as well as the entrepreneurial sector. Okay. Um, with the, then, uh, I would, uh, okay, let me ask this. We are in South Africa. We have um, developed a whole lot of stuff as South Africa, uh, you know, just um, technologically before. And it was mostly state, uh, I would say state backed. Yeah. And um, now if, if I'm an entrepreneur, I'm Garabo, uh, we've yeah. got Facebook here. It, 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 it is a technological, you know, innovation. If I wanted to create something else without higher education or lab, would I be a candidate for TIA? Yeah, that's the other part that I was trying to allude to. So the, the, in terms of the health split I was speaking about, uh, mm. let's just say at the moment, and that number, by the way, uh, is not cast in stone, at the moment, out of every 70 rands we spend in funding technological innovation, uh, out of every rand we spend, 70 cents goes towards your universities, your University of Technologies, your CSIRs, and uh, your, your Nexus and uh, Fintechs. 
30 cents out of every one rand goes towards the, the private sector, a form of um, entrepreneurial um, sector as a retail to pay. So you don't need to be uh, in the in the lab uh, uh, at the university to be the, the recipient of tier funding. You must just be the innovator that has come up with a, a novel uh, a technology which solves a very viable uh, problem which uh, could uh, create um, economic uh, benefit. Okay. Now, um, you, you, you've been talking about the 70-30 split, right? Where that's would you... That's what it is today. That's what it is today. You may even reverse it and say, you know what, it's more to the private sector and less to the public sector. It's yeah. that we can do with it what you want. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, you don't want to be caught up in political, you know, <laughs> I, 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 political statements, per se. No, you say no, 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 no. Um, but how would you describe the South African technological landscape? Yeah, you see, the, the, the answer to that question, um, the, 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 our, our, our propensity and uh, predisposition to innovate varies across different economic sectors. In other words, there are sectors uh, where we we are proven innovators mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, compared to, to others and uh, and uh, by the extension there are, there are sectors where quite frankly we are lagging behind. And then you've got everything else in between. If okay. you want me to eliminate on uh, the, the unicorns uh, in terms of sectoral performance and innovation capacity uh, and track records to the point and uh, I'm happy to do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, don't make me tell you who the 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 legats are. Mm. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> which sectors are we lagging? Sure. Um, I, I, I would have wanted to avoid that, but um, <laughs> you know, um, let me let me start off with um, at least a so that. Uh, my, my, my view on what constitutes uh, successful innovating is calibrated. Okay. Let's kick off with uh, 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 harnessing of, of nuclear energy. Yes. Um, now, this is a sector in which South Africa stands uh, as shown as above uh, most countries globally. Uh, we are recognized as a leader globally. Uh, uh, and uh, in the production and supply of these specialized uh, radiation-based products to, to global markets. Mm -hmm. This is the one area where we easily, in South Africa, uh, teach people in the first level how to pr produce uh, these products using technology that we developed. That is not the only sector. I'm just using that as an example to say that uh, the, the success in innovation uh, is seen right across the spectrum. Mm -hmm. it, is not, it is not only seen in terms of uh, the academic papers that we are able to produce and, uh, and, uh, and rank ourselves based on, on that basis. Uh, uh, on that basis, and uh, it's, it's also on how we carry that through mm -hmm. all the way to the market. Yes. Um, we are probably this, we, we still feature in the top five producers of those highly uh, complex, very specialized uh, products. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one example where I would argue that uh, not only did we hit it out of uh, the ballpark, but we hit it out of town. Now, the, the, there are also sectors where we, we remain, we remain uh, our customers mm -hmm. of, uh, of global players from a technological standpoint. So in other words, so sectors where we are a destination user of um, technology produced elsewhere. Okay. <laughs> you are avoiding that question, so let me... Let me move past it. Where would you say TIA has made the most significant difference um, in the landscape or the, yeah, in the technological landscape in the, in, with their interventions? Sure, that's an interesting one. So um, let's, let's, let's maybe um, uh, take it this way. Uh, let's, let's talk about the, the successes of, uh, of TIA as an institution, mm -hmm. and uh, and how those are how those are how those are measured. If that's if that's okay with you. 
Yes. And uh, now, now the one of the ways through which uh, successful uh, innovation is, uh, is measured is the extent to which is able to create a new venture, new venture, or other new ventures. Mm -hmm. Uh, the extent to which uh, earlier you made a comment about Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, just did well. Um, as an example, that the US economy is, uh, is innovative. We have Facebook, we've got Apple, we've got Microsoft, and the list goes on. So, as the, uh, we have had our fair share of, uh, of successes, uh, and um, we have had our fair share of, uh, of failures. Mm -hmm. On the mineral beneficiation fund, um, mm -hmm. is one area where I believe that uh, we've been able to demonstrate uh, some. Uh, Success, and uh, and I would argue that uh, in the in the ICT space uh, we have been able to also claim a fair share of success in terms of innovation. Mm -hmm. To bear in mind that um, we operate in a in a high risk space where we know that a lot of things that we touch are not successful just because of the nature, the risky nature of the space within which we operate, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we 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 are deliberately doing this because it's important for there to be a, a risk taker if the economy is going to become productive. So I would argue uh, that um, the mineral preparation space with uh, made some progress, as it made some progress, we've made some progress in the uh, energy space, we've made some progress in the, in the bioeconomy, and it can get better. Okay. Um, if, um, um, you know, um, how do I say this? With, with this vlog, right, we meet uh, entrepreneurs every day and uh, it's 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 very interesting in some ways where we do have solutions as you were saying our carry through to the market there's always that i don't know how to say it it looks good on paper it is a great innovation but it eventually does not get to the market how can we change that and how can tia help us even as entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs to actually do that sure um, i see that you are your, your, your questions well. Now, now let's 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 first understand the nature of what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Because what you're saying is how do we improve the innovative capacity of the country? Mm -hmm. Now, now it's a function of, of a number of things. Yes. First of all, first of all, um, the South African economy is a, is a unique one. In other words, um, if you look around yourself, in a number of in a number of uh, of key economic sectors. We are a destination market of goods produced elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Fine. If you take uh, uh, software, for example, uh, let's talk about uh, Microsoft. Uh, let's talk about uh, the, the East competitors. Uh, you know, most likely uh, you're going to find that in South Africa they've got uh, their sales offices, mm. and, and there's absolutely no R&D capability. Yes. That logic, um, one almost sees number of any critical sectors of our economy. I'll tell you why that matters. The, there's no such thing as coming up with innovations which are so good that they sell themselves. Mm -hmm. that way. That way. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to create room and space for these innovations to be taken up in the market. Mm -hmm. um, so, so if we are going to uh, improve our prospects of doing this more effectively, uh, of improving the rate at which we've been able to do it in the past, is the extent to which we are able to bring business, both big and small, to the to the uh, closer to the opportunities which uh, could become future, uh, you know, product and suppliers uh, of citizen products. Now, now that is something that I don't think we've done particularly well, and the reason why perhaps that was the case is that in the event some of these things are uh, buying trades are made elsewhere and not here. Mm -hmm. Not everything is like that. Not everything is like, like that. And one must also acknowledge the fact that uh, our government. Is a big is a big buyer of many products in the cities in the country. Mm. So it don't be enough to say that well just because uh, Microsoft does sales in South Africa and R and D happens in Atlanta or wherever it's happening, mm -hmm. that can be an excuse because our government is the biggest is a big buyer of products mm. in the number of sectors. Surely that government should get a say in terms of what is buying. Mm -hmm. If we are going to be saying before we we we, we procure our goods from an entrepreneur who just started a business the other day for uh, an impressive product. If we are going to be asking three references of who have you supplied mm. them, yes. <laughs> but those become artificial, um, call them, 
obstacles, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, barriers, uh, different mm -hmm. barriers of entry to entrepreneurship. So we need to, to work hand in hand. Uh, I've used, I've answered you in two ways. The government policy is important mm -hmm. uh, because that is how a lot of innovations survive globally. Yes. And then also uh, the, the proximity of the private sector to the innovative community. Okay. All right. I think you've just been can hit. You, can, can you still see me there? Uh, sort of. Uh, uh, I think you were hit. One second, one, one second. Let me see what you have. All right. Oh, there. There you are. So, so there's a um, switch to opportunity. Yes. And also, lastly, lastly, apart from credit sector proximity to, to the innovative solutions and the entrepreneurs behind them and government policy, we, we need to, to self introspect as a, as a society to see to what extent are we encouraging entrepreneurship mm -hmm. uh, vis a vis uh, uh, people getting uh, well-paying jobs, uh, <laughs> and, but, but what is it that we are celebrating as, um, as communities in the country? And I'd argue that we don't celebrate entrepreneurship enough. We celebrate mm. that guy that walks out of his uh, lectures with, uh, in, a, in a black gown and mm. in a job uh, in, 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 somewhere in the big cities and they occupy a corner office. We celebrate people like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't know um, if this would be an unfair question for you, but I think it's a bit unfair, but you might also, as you're saying, we don't celebrate entrepreneurship. Most of us, we watch Netflix. And if you're watching Netflix and you're watching um, a, a K-drama, in a K-drama, you will not see anything else besides Samsung. It's as simple as that. Um, you're going to see a Kia, which is made in Korea. You're going to see that in almost everything. If you're watching a Chinese something, you're going to see Apple popping up everywhere. The only gadgets you will see in studio are, 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 you know, are Apple. And then when you come to South Africa where we manufacture Mara or where we put uh, Mara together, none of the shows that we do celebrate Mara or put it into the mainstream. So maybe perhaps as you're saying that, you know, celebration of innovation, although Mara is not a novel, I think, but to say that it is, yeah, it's, you know, yeah. But then also, are there people that, um, our innovation hubs, we have several innovation hubs across the country. How do they plug back into TIA? A TIA. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 I'm not going to be able to cover every single one of them. Yes. I'll just speak uh, about the, the very first one that was created uh, in Pretoria. Mm -hmm. yes, in uh, the campus of the University of Pretoria. Uh, in the CSIR, it's called the Innovation Hub. So we collaborate with the Innovation Hub on a number of um, strategic uh, programs. Um, and I'm only going to highlight one. So every year, the Innovation Hub um, issues a call to the entrepreneurial community across uh, four sectors. Uh, it is um, the, bio, the, the, the biopharmaceuticals, it's uh, medical diagnostics, uh, ICT, uh, and energy. In those sectors, um, the Innovation Hub invites uh, entrepreneurs who submit proposals in terms of business ideas uh, which can be translated into a viable uh, uh, companies. Yeah. Now, in, in doing that, uh, TIA is a big supporter of that. TIA uh, contributes funding to, to making it possible. Uh, TIA contributes expertise uh, uh, to, to making it possible. And, um, and TIA is, uh, is one of the main partners uh, of that program. What the program has been able to deliver over the last 10 years, and these numbers we need to be uh, uh, updated. The, I recall something like more than 400 new jobs created out of that program in the last uh, say, 10 years or so. I recall something like more than uh, half a billion rent of revenues, collective revenues generated by companies that march through the competition. Now, the issue here is that we should, should be doing it at a scale far bigger than we are mm. at the moment. Are going to make a dent to, to the small metro urban environment because bear in mind, I know that the president provoked uh, some of the quotas <laughs> for society yes. when he made a statement regarding whose job it is to create jobs. Mm -hmm. Now, let's, um, let's say that um, the, the, for, for a long time our government has been talking about creating two million jobs. Now, the just like the president said, uh, the government is not. Of, um, of creating of creating jobs, uh, so I'll, I'm supporting the president um, in, in what he said. There. But also, I argue that big business is also not in the business of creating jobs. Mm -hmm. um, if, if, uh, if you speak to people who have been at the, at the helm of big businesses, 
<laughs> yes, just, uh, I'm just being honest. Yes. Like, if you look at um, the single biggest um, corporate mm -hmm. company, it's salaries. Companies, it'll be people. Mm -hmm. and, and we come with all sorts of weights which actually mean one thing. Mm -hmm. When we say we are right sizing, we are downsizing, blah, 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 it all means cutting down jobs. That's what big is about because we are rewarded by the extent to which you create a, a healthy uh, bottom line. Bottom line. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that will, will allow you to do that is. Uh, Reducing, reducing jobs. Now, I've mentioned that the government is not in that business. I've mentioned that big business actually is incentivized to keep mm. the job. Therefore, we only have new ventures as a viable source of new business. If you were to take discovery, the sort of discovery, for example, discovery, and I'm talking a bit of, a bit of updated numbers, but at the time when uh, I looked at this thing, it was about eight, and I said, the, 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 the entire discovery group as a, as a business created. Uh, about 28 years prior, um, we had a, had a 40,000 job impact. Mm. Um, 30,000 of them were direct employees of Discovery um, through its all various, uh, various entities. Mm -hmm. And for the 3,000 was in the Discovery supplier network. Mm -hmm. the, there's a reason I'm mentioning it. So one um, company called Discovery, or the Discovery Group, 40,000 uh, impact uh, jobs in terms of impact. And, and these are sustainable. Mm. Now, Government might start um, the infrastructure project, but it's going to have a started impact. Mm -hmm. Discovery uh, has been there for many years, still there now, probably going to be there for I many more years to come. The point is that if you're talking two million sustainable jobs, what effectively you are saying is that you need about 50 uh, of uh, founders that did something like Discovery. That's how you achieve a two million uh, job uh, impact. Of course, you won't start with 50, hoping to get. Um, uh, uh, Two million jobs. If I'm using the discovery example of linear, mm -hmm. it must be supporting them in the tens of thousands. Yes. You know, with, uh, with the uh, 50 uh, guys on average, with uh, who are able to pull off the kind of impact to have seen the discovery. That's why it is the the. And I'm, look, I'm, I'm passionate about the point there. That's why it is it is it is in the interest of the government to make sure that through all these policies, through all how we choose to buy things, it's, it's policies, it's also easy. Partners, we are mindful of the fact that we need not to uh, slow down uh, a procurement of goods from entrepreneurs from new ventures. Because if we if we're able to get that part right at a policy level, support them, of course, mm -hmm. don't put stupid uh, obstacles in the process. Make sure that the environment is conducive so that what the funding they need, we mustn't they mustn't bring their grandmothers, uh, uh, you know, the working sticks for them to get a hundred thousand to prove a concept. Mm -hmm. so, so, so support them with the right funding, support them with the conducive procurement that they make, support them uh, with all those things that are necessary for them to be able to sell. And government is doing its job. On the private sector side, uh, I've already spoken about the fact that uh, the, the proximity of the, of the private sector mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and uh, the entrepreneurial community is, is, is very important if we are able to, to actually support the enterprise development. That's the essence of the conversation. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> you, you, you brought the conversation here. Now, do we have sandboxes in South Africa so that we can actually have, you know, the, uh, as a buffer for these new, new ventures? Because a lot of times um, I've seen people getting funded. Um, some of the funding, it's very dodgy. You know, you, <laughs> it's too little to do any improvement. And with the Asian market sandboxes, they kind of give you that space for three years for you to grow and become sort of like, you know, you can float on your own. Do we have such in South Africa? So we are a good example. Now, now the, for, for a lot of funders out there, they want to make sure that their risk is almost non-existent when they give you money. Mm -hmm. They want to make sure that first you've got assets that they can have security over. Mm -hmm. Um, second, you've got contracts that show that we are able to bring the revenues that uh, uh, will make them recover their returns. And, 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 and. in our case, we are the we are the idiots that believe in things that are not proven yet. Uh, in other words, you bring to us something that doesn't even remotely look like the final product mm -hmm. with immense level of risk. We are the we, we are we are the we are the, we are the few that um, uh, take a bite, uh, mm -hmm. basically. And without security requirements, 
And um, if the innovation fails technically, which does happen, mm -hmm. right, uh, you simply write it off. You don't have to go and claim your house. You don't have to be on the street because your product could have been failed. Yes. So, so, so we are, we are, we are, we are, we are there uh, as, as GIA doing that. But we can't be the only one, and I don't think we're the only one. There's a couple more of, of patient funders like us, mm -hmm. funded by the, by, the, by the government, because the only way you can do this is if your banker is a patient uh, uh, investor. And in this case, it is the uh, government of the Republic of South Africa. So, so we've got those uh, 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 kind of entities that take risks without, uh, you know, covers of requirements, I don't think it's done at the level and scale at which we ought to be doing it for us to start seeing the, the results of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, I really do appreciate what you're saying right now, that we are not where we're supposed to be. Um, we, we've got our last five minutes um, to just wrap up. Um, I know that you stayed with us so that <laughs> you, you can. But I want you to tell me something. With education, is our education system really does it stimulate innovation sure. um yeah now that's one of these um issues that i don't think that we have we have we've got a we've wrapped our minds properly around so so now now, now it's, it's, i mean if, if we are talking about innovation mm -hmm. um it is inherent that education is an important part of it mm -hmm. now 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 let me demonstrate this by by way of an example of a university in a foreign country. Granted, I know that there's always differences between countries and so on and so forth, but let me just explain the point. We're sitting in a lecture um, some, 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 some years ago, uh, listening to a professor from Brown. Uh, Brown happens to be one of the Ivy League universities in Boston, in the, mm. the US. This person shared MIT uh, uh, track record in commercialization uh, since inception. And the numbers were like this. So MIT had created roughly about 25,000 companies since inception. This is about 2013, 2014. So 25,000 companies attributable to one university called MIT in Boston. Mm -hmm. out, of, out of those, because remember, a lot of these things will die. Yes. Yeah. Those that survived and, um, and were valued uh, shortly before these numbers were revealed, they, they the valuation, the combined valuation of those that survived at the time is around $2 trillion, uh, US dollars. Now let's, let's bring it home. South African GDP is around $400 billion uh, US dollars. Mm -hmm. Now this number is not steady, but you, but you get a sense yes. of it. The one university had the impact of five South Africans in terms of economic value. Yes. Now how does that happen? If you go to MIT and say, show me the, the research budget uh, the university has, it probably dwarfs the entire combination of RSA universities mm. uh, are combined. Uh, now, 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 there's, there's a, 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 an angle about that angle. If you are able to invest so much in research, uh, build enough critical mass, uh, invest at a level, uh, at, at the depth and breadth required to be able to innovate, you, you can't be compared to, to, to a system where, for example, in South Africa, the NRF, uh, the Canada budget, which is a national institution, is a fraction of Harvard University. Granted, I've made the point that uh, you always find these differences between economists, but mm. the point here is that the, if you look at countries that have been able to successfully innovate themselves out of uh, uh, poverty, but into, into prosperity, they, 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 they almost always have investment in education, they almost always have uh, deep uh, uh, areas of, of science and tech in which they play, and uh, and uh, and you know, one can't one can't uh, avoid that. It's it, you know one is a key success factor for you to realize that. Okay. Um, you know what? I um, we will have more conversations in in the coming weeks or in the coming months. Um, there's okay. a lot that we would want to touch on. And, you know, um, for example, the, the, you mentioned the policy aspect of it. Maybe yeah. we need to actually invite one parliamentarian and then get somebody from TIA who's in policy and maybe get somebody from universities to see the D-link that we have. And we, we can agitate for that conversation because I believe that South Africa has a lot of potential and it yeah. has unique problems that could actually help the rest of the world. For sure. 
you know, um, <laughs> for example, we, we always complain about, you know, our, um, our lack of generate, what you call it, energy generation, and that we still complain about, you know, power cuts. But in other African countries, it's so normal that power cuts are not things that people really complain about. It, it's the way of life and something that we can change in South Africa. Also, even just to eliminate the whole thing, as you're saying that you're investing a lot in power generation and more could be done to ensure that that happens. But I'd like to thank you for your time. But as you uh, close out, <laughs> uh, what are your words of wisdom? What would you like to see happening, especially this financial year? Um, you know, starting in April, what do you want to see or what are your plans as the head of commercialization? Yeah, so, so sure. Uh, now, the, um, there's a number of things that I would love to see happening. Uh, uh, in how we train our youngsters uh, in terms of elementary education, uh, we need to do more uh, to impart in the heads of our youngsters that ideas are assets. Mm -hmm. There's only one system education that uh, teaches these people, and we don't have a parallel one. So we can't rely on any other except the one that we have. So, so these kids that um, go to school, uh, complete their matric, you can't wait until they've got degrees for them to learn about commercialization, for them to learn about new venture creation. It needs to start really. Uh, mm -hmm. They need to understand that ideas that they have are assets. That is uh, on, the one, on, the one, on the one extreme. On the other extreme, is that um, we need to bring uh, a lot of um, the, especially, specifically the black business people, closer to um, innovations that um, TIA would have funded in the past, which have created or proven to become successful, and, uh, and work closely with those black business people uh, 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 in a manner that will allow us to potentially exceed some of our well performing assets to the black entrepreneurial community. Okay. Thank you very much, Brian, for your time. And thank you. Um, I really love what you just said now that ideas are assets. And we are going to have you again. Uh, it's just <laughs> starting next week, Tuesday is International Women's Month. And yeah, so some of the innovators that we are going to bring in, we will send them your way, definitely. And we'll keep sharing more information on, 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 on Facebook about TIA. Thank you very much. No problem. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Sure. Bye-bye.